Hello, my name is Tim Meany, and I'm a Keysight Application Engineer. Uh, welcome to this next video in our series on automating Keysight instruments with LabVIEW. And today we're going to take a look at using the Visa library uh, directly in LabVIEW without a driver. Let's get started by launching LabVIEW. And we'll go up here to the File menu and select uh, New VI. So we now have a new uh, block diagram and a new front panel. And we're going to access the Visa functions by opening up our functions palette. I'll right click and go down here to Instrument I.O. and then select Visa. And I'm going to actually pin that down so that I have my uh, Visa VIs uh, readily available here. Let's start by going into the Advanced section. We'll choose a Visa Open and a Visa Close. More on those two items in just a moment. We'll go back up here and we'll also choose a Visa Write and a Visa Read. So now in our block diagram we have four VIs here a Visa Open, a Write, a Read, and our Close. These are the basic uh, elements of your, of your program. Let's go ahead and wire up some of these. I'm going to take the Visa resource name and run this right through all four of our VIs here. And I'll do the same for the Error Out and Error In terminals. Now, starting from our Visa Open, I'm going to go up to the Resource Name Terminal. I'll right-click and select Create. In this case, I'll choose Control. That will place a control on our front panel. You could also use a constant here. So we now have our control on the front panel. Now, <clears throat> with the um, introduction of this uh, Visa Resource Name, it's technically not required to uh, add a visa open or even a visa close for that matter, although it doesn't hurt to do so. Uh, with the introduction of this resource name, uh, when the code executes, uh, this will actually check for an open session, and if there isn't one, it will open one to the instrument. So this visa open doesn't really need to be here. I've just added it in uh, just to demonstrate uh, how it would be used. Uh, the same is true for the visa close. when LabVIEW exits, uh, any open uh, Visa sessions will be closed automatically. Okay, so on our Visa Write, what we want to do is send out a command to our instrument. In this case, we're going to right-click here. We'll select Create Constant. And I'm just going to add in the common command star ID and question mark. I'll go ahead and grab this and move it up out of the way here. So we're going to send out that command, and then we want to read back the response from the instrument. So on the Visa Read, a couple of items I have to wire up here. One is the byte count for the return. So I'm going to do a create constant, and I'm going to enter a number in here. Uh, you want to ensure that you enter a, a value uh, that represents the number of bytes that's being returned uh, or greater than the number of bytes being returned. As long as that number is equal to or greater than, uh, the read will uh, terminate uh, when it either reaches that number or uh, when it encounters a, a read terminator. So I've just entered 99 here. I know that that's, uh, that number is larger than the number of bytes returned uh, from the star IDN question mark query. On the output of our Visa read, we're going to take the response. We'll select Create and add an indicator. That way on our front panel, we'll have an indicator that will have uh, the response to our star IDN question mark query. So at this point, we take a look up here at our Run button, and we see that it's not broken. So it appears we have a uh, program that's uh, ready to go, ready to test. We'll go to the front panel. 
I'm going to resize this Visa, Visa resource name and let's move the read buffer over here so they're going to see the response and let's go back to the block diagram to add one additional item here just in case there's an error we want to see what that is so let's go ahead and create an indicator for our error go back to our front panel All right, and so we're ready to test. First thing we want to do is select a Visa resource name. When you hit the drop down, you should see a list of any of the items that you have connected um, right now and, and have verified in the Measurement and Automation Explorer. I'm going to choose this USB connected instrument, and we'll go ahead and hit the Run button. So you'll see we sent out the star ID and question mark command and received a response from our instrument, in this case, a 34461A. While this is a relatively simple example, it does demonstrate uh, how you can use the Visa Read and Visa Write functions uh, without using an instrument driver to communicate to your instrument. And I'll just rewire this real quick without the uh, open and close. Go ahead and run that, and you see that the program still runs. Well, I hope this was helpful, and uh, tune in to our next episode where we'll take a look at uh, Instrument I.O. Uh, using a driver. Thanks for watching.